Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading from the 29th of June to the 5th of July 2020 and um, thank you very much for your likes but you were around the 7th, 8th per, um, uh, zodiac sign or uh, to be in line and um, that's why you are now it's your turn okay and I do appreciate all your likes I received around 29 likes and you came uh, at the same place as Capricorn okay so thank you if you would like to be the first zodiac sign then keep on promoting your zodiac sign by likes and shares now I do go live every week but I will explain that at the end of the video because I would like to welcome all the new viewers um, and uh, remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and um, this is the querent card or the general uh, meaning and this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and I take the corner cards and I this is the clarification card for the three cards or the three cards is the clarification card for the corner cards and I've got the uh, mystical shaman oracle deck and I will go into that as well and see how it relates with the reading and I will be taking the overall energy card or the querent card for the chakra okay because you can go into a reading really deeply and it is and I'll explain when I get to that card and the chakras and what is related to it okay now the overall energy is strength that is the major arcana card and that is also is meaning that you are standing in your strength and you're stronger than you think you are powerful this week you are in your strength and you've got number eight and that's your money house and your strength house so there might be more money coming in or you're managing your money this week well because you are in balance okay there might also be a Leo that is interested in you or has a, su uh, a special meaning in your week this week then uh, above your querent card we have the king of cups the king of cups is cancer but don't exclude scorpio or uh, pisces um, okay so you are on top form because this is you cancer you are in your strength you're in your positive position boom you're balanced okay great stuff now we're going on wednesday so that was the monday card and you could also be meeting an other cancer or scorpio or pisces then you have on wednesday the ace of wands are you have you applied for a new job well then it could be yours on wednesday or are you thinking about it Whoa because he's walking around and looking down at the ground and perhaps he and he's got a suitcase um, I, uh, he, uh, I think you might be thinking of changing a job or a hobby because the ace of wands stands for work so business or a job or a new hobby creativity action creativity the uh, fire signs do think logically and they are determined to get what they want perhaps you are sitting around in the middle of the week taking action and thinking but thinking <laughs> you know but you might be taking action because it's the ace of wands but you could also be meeting an Aries Leo or Sagittarius we've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups um, is also Leo as the King is Aries but don't forget the other two signs Sagittarius and Aries your Leo 
this is Leo so Leo is quite predominant okay so you might be the Leo you might be taking charge and actively being the king of your kingdom <laughs> and you come out here as the king of cups so yes you might be meeting a queen of wands that is a Leo um, or you might be making a new friend or you might be the king queen of wands taking action deciding on what you want to do do you want to change a job or a hobby well I think you're very decisive this week and you know what you want because you are in your strength and I think you want would like a change now you've got no problem because you're seeing what you want like the Queen of Wands and you have the two of swords upside down so that means that you are not blindfolded that you haven't closed it off your heart or your solar plex you are open to new ideas good on you you're very much decisive because um, you're thinking about things here okay and you're very decisive because the the fire signs are people that take action for what they want now you've got the five of cups you've learned from the past perhaps you are looking back but it's no good looking back at the past only you can look back in the past and learn from the past if that's the way you're looking back then that's good on you because now you're focused on the future on this new beginning and you can only change the present and the future there's no use crying over spilled milk and I think you have come to that point because you are in balance in your strength and you're taking everything in your stride you have had a, a period that you couldn't see and that you were closed off but it's lying upside down now and you take you're doing the walk and doing the talk you're taking action so you've learned from the past that's why you're looking back perhaps good on you stay in your strength now you've also got celebrations so that's why I said on Wednesday if you've applied for a job then it could be yours or you might start a new hobby you've got the three of cups and the three of cups well that's celebrations partying it might uh, be your birthday so congratulations if your birthday is this week cancer as we are in your sign at the moment and the energy has uh, changed dramatically I can see it in the readings and I'm experiencing it myself as well it's more direct it's more gentler it is also taking care of um, what you want and this is what is shown in your reading Wow okay now and um, that if you are taking care of what you wish for you're going into action you're in your strength and you're seeing where you want to go and that is and it's going to bear fruit it's going to give results and you're going to celebrate these the results besides your birthday now we've got the eight of ones and you want uh, eight of ones sorry I've got it mixed up with the eight of cups I just corrected myself eight of ones is things are all happening boom 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 once after one and after another if not all together you might even be planning your holiday or as this also means not only messages coming in and things happening all at once there will be cyber messages emails text messages telephone calls but you might be actually planning to take a holiday or traveling uh, like he's already got the suitcase and he's walking he's ready for a holiday he wants to relax and be nurtured and nurture himself perhaps this is you nurturing yourself this week and you are building up your strength and your fiery you've got the action mode in you to do something and rejuvenate at the same time awesome now you've also got the king of pentacles like I said you've got a new beginning 
you might start a business, you might start a new job. Anything that you want, you are going to get. And you've got the King of Pentacles, so and he is the he has the meters touch. He's is the king that whatever he does and whatever he chooses, um, it will turn to gold. So if you've applied for a job, it will turn to gold. It will bring in the bucks, and it will bring in the bucks big time, because he's king and he of pentacles and he knows how to invest. He strategically investigates and he thinks logically before he takes action. Now you might be investing in something this week, and you are taking action. You've thought about it strategically, logically, and you want it and you're going into action. The fire energy is all around you. So invest wisely, think, and then take action. You might have more than one choice because you've got lots of things happening around you, but you will be celebrating. And remember, uh, don't do things in haste, otherwise you will have to repent in leisure. Now we're going to our beautiful card, and you've got a heart in this card, and it's called the Beloved, number five. Five might say you're not in balance, but you will be in balance. Look at this. You've got such a strong reading, and two hands holding a heart. So you, that is passion, just like the fire energy, okay? You have passion this week, whether it's for a fire sign, whether it's for a water sign, whether it's for the king of pentacles, which is Taurus, or don't forget um, Virgo and Capricorn, it could, wow, it is amazing. You have learned from the past, you're taking action, and you're putting your future into action, into a new beginning. The beloved, the beloved. So you could be meeting a new love, like I said, or getting, coming in action with your passion. This could be a hobby or a job. The beloved is the recognition of spirit in an other and moving towards spirit through the other it is when the divine appears to us in the form of our child, our parent, our friend, and we experience being in love. As we grow, we start to recognize the beloved in everyone, not confusing their personality with their divine nature. The invitation or task is accept the invitation to learn through the path of love. Expand your being through union with an other. When you recognize the beloved in an other, you call forth their highest and purest nature. Follow the path of love. You might be celebrating because you might be getting engaged because you followed the path of love and passion. Wow, beautiful. Now Cancer, you've got the Strength card, and I'm using this book, you might have seen the review, this is numerology, not besides the chakras and the tarot, this is numerology, uh, dietary, um, meditations, and there will be a lot more uh, videos coming on each chakra next week, but I'm going to do the Romance card first. Read readings. This is the strength card, and you've got all these signs, and that's where you get your or one gets the information. Now, if you are a person that does yoga or Reiki, or are you a dietist, or are you a therapist that teaches people how to get less stressed, then this book is really uh, something for you. Now the strength card, I've already given you the my vision on the strength card. And I'm going to read you also what the author of this book thinks of the strength card. You've got the element, and that is fire, right? Then you have the astrology, 
that's Leo. I already told you that. Yes, and he's the king of or he's the king of his kingdom. So he's always proud, and he's he he's the beacon of proudness. So perhaps that is what you could do as well. Take nurture yourself, and take that rest if you need that rest. Go on holiday, so that you come back beaming like a proud lion. The anatom anatomy of this card is the solar plex, just by your midriff. Okay, that is where your emotions are. When I use the angelic chakra, this is the right wrist chakra and the angelic chakra. Then I say, open your heart, open your solar plex, and that's what you've done here. That's what I've mentioned here. Take that blindfold off. That's what you've done. You are open. You are letting joy come in. Remember, being open, you must be aware of also protecting yourself of the sadness and negative energy or the lower energies. When you are conscious of that, then you can protect yourself. The attributes of the strength card are strength demands control. Yes, power, your own power. By using personal dominance and will, it is tenacious and lustful. Strength won't be deterred or outsmarted. Strength is courage. Dominant and unwavering strength is passionate and forceful. Advice. Gather up your force, uh, forceful energy, your passion, tenacity and courage. Well, that is what you've done. Look at all that fire cards. Woohoo! You've taken a page out of the Queen of Pentacles um, page, a book. Okay. You've used your courage. Use this to take responsibility for your actions, experience, dominance by using mind over matter. Use your experience. Use these. The, um, to take your responsibility back leave the past where it is this quality of strength is different than the, the control of the chariot strength functions, functions by fire quality instead of by means of water element because the chariot is you and cancer is very soft and nurturing but You've got the king here, so you you are forceful. If you need to be, you can be forceful. The story of this for example is in the literary tale Life of Pi. That's a beautiful film. A teenage boy is trapped on a on a lifeboat with a Bengal tiger in order to survive and to also save the tiger. Pi relies on the knowledge he has gained through exploring religious and it's just like the five of cups you are uh, re you're relying on the knowledge that you've gained in the past and the lessons his father taught him about wild animals to demonstrate utmost strength and tenacity he manages to find food to feed the tiger and keep himself. Pi keeps the tiger at bay, successfully preventing the animal from attacking him during their shared ordeal, remaining safe in control until they reach land. Wow, that is so awesome. Okay, so you could be meeting a, a Leo or you could be the Leo as this could the querence card okay you could also be meeting a cancer but don't forget Pisces or Scorpio and the same with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands okay I love this reading it's really powerful so I hope it gives you a bit food for thought and to use the energy wisely and invest 
correctly. Learn from the past. Then you will stay standing in your strength and in the center point and in the spotlight. Because um, a Leo might have a, an eye on you. Okay, because these two cards are Leo or an other Cancer. Or what did I say? Taurus. Okay, could also be a Virgo um, or a Capricorn. But the King of Pentacles is usually recognized as Taurus. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope you will like it as well and share because make sure that if you want to be the sign that wants to be first that you um, that you uh, share as much as possible so all the Cancerians will come first so Gemini was the first one and then it was Virgo I think this week or Taurus so take care Cancer and please join me in the live if you wish you um, if you click subscribe and click on all then you'll be um, notified and I also put out notices on Facebook Instagram and on the community tab on YouTube because there are viewers that have said that YouTube is not notifying them so make sure that you put the bell on all then you should be notified and if you would like an extended reading then the, there is information below the video and click on the white circle with the eye and you might see Brenda's channel as well Brenda Tarot Readings and um, she's a Reiki master as well and she finds this book also fascinating because of the chakras and the tarot she's also a reader so go and check her out take care and be blessed and enjoy your week and I hope to see you in the life if not in the next video ciao ciao and stay safe